But on the other side, you've got losers. Losers have no discipline. Losers are the kings and the queens of being inconsistent. Losers don't want to make sacrifices. Losers never accept responsibility. Losers aren't going to get up a little earlier. Losers aren't going to show up on time. And losers definitely aren't going to stay a little later. Losers are just going to get there and try to get out as soon as possible. They're not going to put in the extra work that it takes to be great. Let's say you're a basketball player. And you want to go play D1. You want to get to the NBA. But you spend all your free time on social media. You spend all your free time at the mall. You spend all your free time chasing that old pie. When you could be spending that time shooting 300, 400, 500 jump shots a day. When you could be spending that time getting your handles right. When you could be spending that time in the gym getting stronger. On the track getting faster. That's the difference between winners and losers. The guy who goes D1 and the guy who goes D3, there's a difference. The guy who goes to the NBA and the guy who doesn't, there's a difference. You got to be willing to put in the work. I speak from personal experience. I've been a loser. I've been the guy who didn't do anything extra in college to separate myself as a sprinter. Nothing extra. I would go to practice, I would lift. I didn't miss any practices, but I didn't do anything extra on top of what was mandated to do to get better. And what happened? I wasn't able to get better. I never made a name for myself as a sprinter in college. Now, fast forward to 2016, when I start doing extra things, when I made my return to Masters Track and Field. I get up a little early. I stay out a little later. I do all the things I need to do in the gym, all the things I need to do diet-wise, all the things I need to do sleep-wise, all the things I need to do to keep my stress low down. And what happens? It shows up in my performances, y'all. I was able to run 11.57 in the 100 at age 33. I was able to run 23.78 in the 200 at age 33. How, how, how could these things happen? Because I'm doing all the other things that a lot of other folks, a lot of other sprinters don't want to do. Because I'm committed to getting better. I'm committed to not going out on that track and looking like a loser and feeling like a loser. I may not be the best in the world, but when I go home at night and I look in the mirror, win, lose, or draw, I know for a fact that being a winner allows me to say, hey, you know what? You've done everything that you could have possibly done. Sometimes the guy next to you is just better than you. That's just part of life. But I sleep well knowing that I've done everything I need to do to give myself the best chance to win. And that's what being a winner is all about.